Good morning, folks from Radio FM. Today our top story, David Van Fowler Jr., billionaire's son, is accused of rape attempt, physical abuse, and the young girl is currently in hospital, seriously injured. More about that story in half an hour. Come on in. Good morning. Well, I can see you're on the uh, Van Fowler case, and uh, here's the man involved, David Van Fowler. His father's... Um, an old friend of mine. I'm asking you to defend him in this uh, latest case and a uh, great opportunity for you uh, and of course for our practice. I'll leave you with Zara if I may anyway. You're in very good hands and uh, see you next day. Bye Zara. So, beautiful. How are you going to defend me? Because I don't have the whole day and would you mind bringing me some coffee? Or can maybe the pretty receptionist bring me some coffee? I had a look at your files, and honestly, the charges that are against you are pretty heavy. And it's not something I'm going to be able to solve in a day. So, if you want to perhaps fix an appointment this afternoon and see with the pretty receptionist, perhaps we can find a solution. It's not my problem. Find a solution. Because my father is paying you that much, and you're talking to me like that? Come on. Ciao Sara, come va? Ciao, bene, grazie. Il caffè. Grazie. So, how is your day doing so far? Amazing. I had a meeting with a client, a very nice guy. How about your day? Well, I received a new case this morning and I'm not sure I'm going to take it. Why? Well, it's uh, Mr. Found Fowler Jr. That idiot? Yeah, yeah, that dude, yeah. I... I don't know. My boss just told me it's an amazing opportunity for the firm and uh, wonderful for my career. So why not? Do you really want to take this case, Sarah? I mean, I should think about my career. And people can change, can't they? Do you think that this guy is going to change, Sarah? Well, even if he does not change, I need to think about my career and my future. But do you remember what our parents taught us? Always fight for good causes? Do you really think this is a good cause, Sarah? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take it. I don't think it is that bad. Is it? I think it is, Sarah. If you really want to defend this guy, don't come to me. So what are the plans? Well, Mr. Falfala Jr., I'm afraid to tell you I won't be able to take your case. What? Is this a joke? Are you not being paid enough or what? Well, I'm afraid that it isn't. But you know that Mr. Decker and my father are good friends. Thank you, I do remember what he said, but my decision is taken. I won't take your case. I'm sorry. You're so unprofessional. I knew it. I hope you lose your job. Good evening, Sarah. What, what was all that about? Are you getting on with young David then? Well, he left quite upset. Um, I had to tell him I won't be able to take the case. You did what? I know, but I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable defending him. It just goes against my moral values. and I feel he would be, you know, perhaps it would be better to, to give him a, a lawyer, a man, someone. I don't feel comfortable, sorry. No need to be sorry. Many years ago, I, I had a case that I really had to turn down as well. And it was just one I, I couldn't take. And I, I got a lot of criticism for that in, in the practice. As a junior, they were calling me double decker and jokes like that. But I was long term really glad that I dropped it. So don't worry, we'll find a solution. Perfect. And I'd love to hear more about the story. OK, I'll go and get myself a coffee. Would you like one as well? Definitely will. Right, because in this practice, it's the boss who gets the copies. Good morning, folks from Radio FM. Today, our top story. CEO of the law firm Decker & Partner, Paul Decker, is accused of sexual assault by one of his female lawyers, Sarah Parker. Previous female lawyers of the same company witnessed they experienced the same. More about that in half an hour. <laughs>